G'day guys, I'm Brad. And I'm Hayley. And this is our Australia trip. We are at 1770 finally. It was meant to be raining today, but it's not, so that's a nice surprise. Our campground is just over there, and we thought that we'd go for a bit of a walk this morning up to the headland up here. Go over Captain Cook, you reckon? At 1770. <laughs> oh, we are staying on Captain Cook Drive, so we'll see what's up ahead. We need to be on a boat. Yeah, need a boat. Maybe I'll catch some fish. This track is getting smaller and smaller. Surely it's got to be worth it. Get down low. Stop, jump and roll. This is a good quad workout. Yeah. Let's go down here. Maybe Captain Cook walked up here. There, love. <laughs> Tell you what, sometimes it pays to go down a track that looks like an animal track. Sometimes you can just fit a human down it and you get views like this. Only dust. Oh, I'm we gonna have, have a sore back tonight after all the crouching and. Yeah. I think we just beat the rain too. It was beautiful this morning and. It started to come over overcast and it just it's got that feeling in the air that it's going to rain so got a bit of a trek back to the van but I'm glad we've got out and got out to do something this morning. Made the most of it while yeah. it was good. Yeah. Now the rest of the day can be shit and I don't care. <laughs> This is a fun one. It's the middle of the afternoon. I was just gonna have some Arvo snacks and I was like editing a video and I was getting wet feet. And I thought, just thought I must have stepped in water when I went outside. And then we found a pool of water. So this is a mess at the moment. We found a pool of water all the way into the bathroom. Everything's wet. And there's just water coming from every crease and crevice. <coughs> And uh, even in there, so I thought, oh, we've busted a hose or in you know, our hot water heater or it's coming through the roof vent because we didn't have the roof vent quite closed. There was just so much water, it didn't make sense. And I used the outdoor shower today and it's just slowly leaked through a loose fitting on the shower head until it's filled the carpet up with water. All this carpet is saturated. All under this box is all saturated. It's come and it's come all the way down into the bathroom underneath all the tiles. And I've ruined our afternoon. Water in your caravan. Oh, it's so it's scary. so scary. <laughs> we had a leaking vent when we first got the caravan. And um, that was a nightmare, like just, just terrifying that water's in your caravan and we're just like oh how can there be this much water coming through an open roof vent and it's sloping the wrong way anyway so that outdoor shower is going in the bushes i am going to 
throw that thing into the bay or now I'm going to dispose of it <laughs> safely. <laughs> or maybe you could just fix it. And now it's raining and we've got to use a hundred towels to clean this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That should be fun to drive. <laughs> Alright. We are at Chinaman's Beach in Agnes Water. It's pretty quiet, there's not too many people around, but we thought we'd come down and have a squeeze. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, sun's out, shelter from the wind. I actually wish I bought my swimmers. We might have to come back with our swimmers later. I can push in. <laughs> no, thank you. Oi, that's not your chair. This is the Iron Throne of Agnes Waters. <laughs> Check it out, the old wanderer. It's where all the big decisions are made in Agnes Waters. <laughs> First cast! What did you get? Funny. I don't Whoa. know how big they're supposed to be. Look how pretty he is. I should get him back in the water. Yeah. I don't think we should. Because he's only him. little. I'm going to catch another one. Okay. He's all good. Well, it's the crack of dawn, and we've gotten up early to, and come to the end of Captain Cook Drive to the point to watch the sunrise. Alright, so we're changing spots. We went to this little rock, which we came to the other day and thought it would be really nice. But when we got there, it looks like the sun might rise more that way. So we're going to go see if we can find another vantage point. Right. Oh, this is spot number two. You can see the sunrise a little bit easier, but it's not any warmer. I'm glad to be back in the car. <laughs> it's a bit brisk out there. It's a little bit disappointing because I plan to come up here and get some drone shots of the headland, but it's far too windy. The drone would just get picked up and taken out of the Great Barrier Reef. We were almost getting blown off the rocks yeah. up there. <laughs> uh, but not all is lost though, because uh, where, where are we on to next? The paperback forest. And it should look really nice this morning, <laughs> with a bit of a glow. These are the ones that don't get as much love because they're covered by like weeds and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Having a bit of an adventure day today. We're on a three kilometer walking trail. It skirts along the beach and through the bush out here in Agnes Water. It even looks like there's a surf break out, out the back there, which this is. Agnes Water is known for the, what is it, the furthest north surf break? Yeah, I think 1770 is the most northern surf break along the east coast. Yeah. According to Google. God knows why, because apparently there's Great Barrier Reef out there, but somehow the swell makes it in. Dying to find a coconut on the ground, it's good to eat. Haley won't let me buy a machete yet, so just keep working on that. He's already got an axe and a mini chainsaw. We don't need to carry a machete as well. Just as I finished saying that I wanted to get a coconut today, we walked around the corner and there was this guy with a bag and he had like 10 coconuts in it, like prime. And uh, we walk around down to this little beach and there's palm trees everywhere, just chock loaded full of coconuts. So, today's target species is coconut. Look at this, like just on the beach. 
You can hear it. I don't know if, uh, which ones you're supposed to eat, but or when they're good, but this one looks a bit green, so I might go for a more brown one. Look at that. I've just thrown it against a rock a couple of times and peeled the husk off. And we've got beautiful coconut water. <laughs> it's delicious. It's a little bit sandy. You gotta try this, babe. Yeah, I wanna try Pick like it up. that. Just don't spill it down your front. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I'm about to pour myself a drink, so I want to show you this cool little contraption that we have. It's a plastic bottle that you can put your alcohol spirit in, and it's perfect for traveling because it's plastic, so you don't have to worry about glass breaking. But what makes it extra cool is that it's got this little bit at the top, and you can actually squeeze the alcohol in there and then it goes up into here and that's one standard shot so not only do you have a safe storage for your alcohol but you've got a shot glass pourer all in one so i've got this bottle of rum here that our friends gave us just before we left we've somehow drunk all of that um in how many weeks uh, two weeks <laughs> two weeks radio um <laughs> we were waiting i don't for... think that was all us i think someone snuck in and drank some <laughs> let's hope so <laughs> Um, we were waiting for this to come in the mail and it's finally come so now we can transfer it in so I'll show you how it works so you open up the main chamber and then we'll pull the rumbo in oh you spill some it's a um, it's a 700 ml bottle you can get litre bottles as well but I thought we usually only buy 700 ml spirits so that'll do Alright, so we screw that on, and now I want my drink, so I'm just going to squeeze it, Beautiful. in it goes, and then you pour it in, there's one shot of rum. My lovely friend Erin gave me um, one of these last year as a present because she knew that we are getting a caravan, and I loved it so much that I ordered us a couple more. So now I've got one for all of our spirits. Okay, I've got two questions. Yes. Um, why is there only one cup? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can get you a cup. <laughs> and my second question is, can you use this if you to mix two stroke if you've misplaced your two stroke mixing bottle? What's a two stroke? <laughs> 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 okay, that's enough out of you. Just let me have my alcohol. <laughs> Jeez. time at 1770 in Agnes Water. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Maybe throw us a subscription, uh, it'll help the channel out a bit if you've been enjoying these last few episodes. And next episode we sort of make our way up to Yapoon, which will be the last stop on the coast before we head west. So yeah, hang out for that. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Who knows what we'll get up to. <laughs>